center of mass of symmetric bodies. Of course, the main title is center of mass of continuous bodies. Discrete, discrete, the opposite of discrete is continuous. What is the formula for discrete? Very simple. RCOM is sigma mi ri upon sigma mi. Or I can say sigma mi ri upon m because summation of all masses will be m. Today, since we started the idea of center of mass, I will not go into the math, math of continuous bodies. But you know what it is. Sigma is for discrete. How do you add continuous bodies? Integration. But today, no. Today I want to cultivate, I want to promote, I want to encourage the intuitive side of center of mass. So this second half of the lecture, I will appeal to what is the gut. There is a head, there is a heart, there is a gut. Believe me, the immediate reaction and the best reaction to any situation for us human beings is the gut. Okay, so listen to your gut. Where do you think the center of mass of a uniform ring lie? Uniform. Uniform means made up of same material, same density, absolute uniform. Where do you think its center of mass will be? Think about it. It would be at its center. Sir, I know what you are talking about. But sir, ring is hollow. There is nothing at the center. How about having center of mass where there is no mass? Right? Center of mass may be located outside the physical body. You think? Possible? Yes. Yes. Why? Center of mass is not a reality physically. It is a reality mathematically. I will not go ahead and say imaginary concept because that, that, that is unfair. Because center of mass has got lots and lots of applications. But I am saying that there actually doesn't exist the whole mass, right? It's not that you have 10 kg of ring and suddenly when you say center of mass, the entire 10 kg shrunk into a point. That doesn't happen, right? It's not that you have a 1 kg here and 1 kg here as dumbbell. And I say the center of mass is at the midpoint. Then suddenly the two masses disappear. Boof! And there is a 2 kg at the center. Doesn't happen like that, right? What I mean to say is that center of mass is the weighted average of the body. Wherever that weighted average takes you, so is the center of mass. And intuitively, the lesson which I wanted to provide you is as follows. First of all, yes, the center of mass can be located where there is no physical mass present. The entire mass of the ring is on the circumference. There is nothing at the center. But still, the center of mass is at the center. Because if object has uniform mass distribution, uniform mass distribution means it should be made up of absolute same material and same density. In other words, if I divide that into two equal parts, the masses should also become two equal parts. If I divide the thing into 10 equal parts, that each mass should be m by 10, m by 10, m by 10. That's what uniformity means. Okay? And the geometry is symmetrical. That means... Uniformity Symmetry If you have uniformity in mass In mass or rather Mass distribution And symmetry in Geometry If these two qualities are present uniformity in mass and symmetry in geometry, then the center of mass will be whichever point you think is the most symmetric point or center of symmetry. Sir, 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 sir. So, center of mass of a ring is at its center? Yes, if the ring is uniform. Sir, if the center of mass of a disc is also at its center? 
हंड्रेड परसेंट यस इफ द डिस्क इज यूनिफॉर्म सर द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ अ होलोस्फियर इज एट इट सेंटर हंड्रेड परसेंट यस इफ इट इज यूनिफॉर्म सर द सेंटर ऑफ मास ऑफ अ सॉलिड स्फियर इज एट इट सेंटर हंड्रेड परसेंट इफ द स्फियर इज यूनिफॉर्म टू 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 कंडीशन इफ मास डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज यूनिफॉर्म इफ मास डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इज यूनिफॉर्म एंड देर इज अमेट्री देन विच एवर यूनिक पॉइंट ऑफ सिमेट्री यू कैन फिगर आउट विच एवर इज यू थिंक इज द मोस्ट सिमेट्रिक पॉइंट और द सेंटर ऑफ सिमेट्री दैट पॉइंट इज सेंटर ऑफ मास